Good morning students, myself Pankur Jyoti Devnath from Barpeta Assam and I am going to teach you mathematics in a funny way or you can say in easy way. Just follow the tricks that I give you and <coughs> start from the basic, basic things. The basics are very important to know. Without knowing the basic things, we cannot proceed for class 10, NCRT chapter 1. So we are starting chapter 1 of the NCRT textbook class 10 for both for SEBA and CBSE students. So let us start. The chapter name is real numbers. Real number. So what do you understand by the word real number? Real number is some something that represents along a line. So re representation along along a line is what we say real number. So how to identify? Kaise identify karenge real numbers ko? So real numbers is further divided into three parts. Number one, rational number, rational number that can be expressed in the form of p by q, where q not equals to zero. And next is fraction, same thing in the form of p by q, it is expressed in the form of p by q. And the third is irrational number. numbers for example say root 2 root 3 so now uh, for understanding real number further so real number consists of three parts first is rational number rational number is a kind of number like sir 2 by 3 2 by 3 is a number where 3 is not equal to 0 is it equal to 0 no this is a number 3 and it is not equal to 0. So it is a rational number. Next is fraction. Fraction we had studied earlier in class 6 that any number that can be expressed in the form of p by q. For example, say 2 by 3 itself. Again, repeating 2 by 3 was rational number. So it is also a fraction because it, it has the denominator as a number. It has a value, not 0. While fraction also has its parts like mixed fraction, proper fraction as well as improper fraction. Next coming to irrational number, those numbers that does not has any ending. For example, root 2. The value is 1.41 and so on. Root 3. 1.73 dot dot dot. So, this was about the introduction and let's see to the next topic later.